Okay, good evening everyone, and uh, how are we all doing? Hey O'Hara, good evening to you as well. Welp, another new week, and time to resume MDK2. So, last time around, we uh, go up to the start of the sixth level, halfway point. We have been introduced to all three of the characters, Kurt, the guy with the suit, Max, a forearm dog with four times the guns, and Dr. Hawkins, who combines things to make things. That demo is way too fast still. <laughs> so, let us uh, resume, shall we? And see what shenanigans are going to happen tonight. He combines bread and a toaster to make toast. Chewy and a powerful scientific genius. Yes, indeed. But this is atomic toast. Greetings, Doctor. I've left you a few presents to play with in my absence. <laughs> Watch your step. <laughs> Bomb activated. Oh no, a bomb. Oh no. Wait, what? I thought that was going to deactivate it. Greetings. Oh, you can't see the game? Oh. Oh yeah. Whoops. Sorry about that everyone. Uh, let's just see if it's working. Yo, sorry. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have game capture enabled. There we go. All right, we're back in business. Hey, Wild well, Tracer, how's it going? Greetings, Doctor. Okay, we have a bomb. I guess stepping on the blue thing is not a good idea. Um Okay, definitely. Don't even touch the blue things. Greeting. Blue things bad. I can't do that, doctor. Why not? Save me, doctor. Save me, the Save me, doctor. Well, I will try and save you, but I don't know. Uh... Oh no. You need to take some. You need to get some physical exercise, Doc. Greeting.
Well, that's not going to be a solution. I will create uh, nothing. Does everyone remember when does everyone remember when MDK was a fast paced game? Ah, good memories. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I, this is not an MDK game. This is just a game that's using its name for brand recognition purposes. Hey, thanks for the 25 bits and the host. They might as well have called this game, I don't know, something else. How did I get to that thing in the first place? Did I just... I, uh, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Do I have to shoot that thing in the middle? No, that doesn't seem to be the solution. Uh, nope, those are just mines. Yeah, I'm afraid to say, but I've been Unreal 2'd again with this game. You go into the game expecting one set of things, and what you get is a slow-paced adventure game. For, for To be honest, for purposes, I could call this Psychonauts, and if you didn't know any better, you'd probably believe me. Okay, red thing, time limit. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that the game is bad, but... I mean, Unreal 2 wasn't terrible after you got used to it. But... You know, you make a game and you make another game in the same series and you change things up enough. There's always going to be that sort of expectation, you know, like... You can absolutely change a few things in game series, sure, but... I don't know what to do here. Yeah, Final Fantasy has always been about one-winded RPG stuff. I mean, I, I, all I know is I'm supposed to go up there and do something. There's a red thing. Maybe I'm just supposed to follow the wires. I have no fucking clue what's going on. Do I have to, like, press these in order or something? 
that the bloody deal? It's just like a Simon Says mini game. I mean, way to give the timed bomb puzzle to the character with the worst um, fucking jilt, the jumping mechanic, you know? Yeah, it's alright, if you're gonna do that, right, you know, at, at some point, you know, it's not really, you know, MDK, fast levels, yes, they had little mini puzzles, but it was mostly short levels with fast-paced action that was varied, and, you know, if they did have puzzles, they were, you had a lot of time, you, things changed, it, just, it's just the pacing that's different here, right? Everything is... So what? Oh, okay. Now I have to step on the second one. Right. So this is... Simon Says based... Well... Didn't I just step on that one? Oh, I'm getting my wires mixed up. Might not have been the smartest save I just made, since I now have to do. Fucking hell. And it's not just this section either, you know. I can understand they want to make different characters and stuff. Every single section in this game has felt like they just want to throw in puzzles nothing but puzzles all the time this is not mdk2 this is something else they could have called this curtain friends or something along those lines you know i mean you you come off a previous game what do you expect you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this section, per se, it's just... <sighs> Dark Souls height Doesn't Dark Souls usually have jumpy sections, though? I think the worst part about the dark is that it's... I mean, this section was fine, I guess. It's gonna teach us something for later. I guess I eventually figured out the puzzle. It's just that... <sighs> oh my. Rickety platforms that way. And I'm stuck this way. So I shall have fine. This is, I think this is where we started the level. It's, it's not so much... Well, it's just... Eh. Oh, but... This one is open. Get out of my bridge, you friggin... Friggin aliens. I have five fizzy drinks. I'm gonna wanna make sure we don't use them too early. Well, yeah, I guess at times it's just a little bit of a get. 
Ho ho, le baguettes. Oh my god, we're getting so many health power ups. We're gonna be doing a lot of fighting, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Electrical current is just a thing. Now I wish I hadn't uninstalled MDK suddenly. A whopping one damage. You never play this on a second difficulty, yeah. I mean, well, the, the thing is, you make a great game. MDK was a good game. Fast paced, short, fun. You know, and then you make this game, and it's like, it. Look, I mean, from what I've seen so far, the game seems fine. It's just. I expected a different game, possibly. Yeah, we, we've already just started, though. We have defused a bomb. I mean, I like the fact they want to be creative and have this scientist character. It's all about crafting power-ups instead of um, making stuff. It's going to be a really cool idea. Did I just lose my... Oh, I guess this is a don't mess around on the platforms bit because otherwise you'll lose the ability to get to the next one. Huh? You're still alive. Let's see how you tackle this one. Oh no, another bomb. Yeah, you see? Mechanic is introduced again. Now we have more more. Oh no, that no, no. Now we have to play the same game again with more wires, but now you know what to do. You know? So now we can play, it's the one on the left we need. Um, yeah, left. Top one. Wait. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong wire. Whoopy 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 round. Now it's the left. Yeah, you know, we could do this a lot quicker, but I'm going to play the games. I mean, this time it seems generous, honestly. So whatever. I mean, there's a quicker way of doing this. Wrong one. Right one. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. This is a, this is actually easier. <laughs> you can just you could just guess the combo. Brute force for the win. NDK one was by saying, yeah, this is a different publisher, isn't it? A different developer, Interplay, Bioware were involved with this. So I would explain why this is nothing like MDK ones because it's made by different people. Just like how MDK uh, Unreal Two was made by different people, so that's why it was nothing like Unreal One. And both of those games were console games that came out in the two thousand era or nineteen ninety. No, yeah, Unreal Two came out like in the mid two thousands, didn't it? That was some top-notch work with the bomb, Doc. But, uh, could you help me? Oh, there's too many of them, Kermit. I don't stand a chance. This'll take the starch out of your shorts, Doctor. I have an atomic toaster. I'd be fine. Great jinkies. This looks like plutonium. Uh, I could probably kill him with the toaster. You know? I don't mean to be a party pooper, but I'm not a terrible... I don't ha I, I can move a bit. 
Yeah, I saw Civvy's review of MDK. I think I watched that before I played it, but I forgot. Chunk of it. That you nebula ne'er do wells? You saved my life! Oh, think nothing of it. But no time for chit chat, my friend. Have you seen a megalomaniacal brain come this way? Yup! I sure did! He went no, he that didn't. way! Thanks again, Ta! No, he, he, you're right, he, uh. He didn't review MDK2. He just said that we don't talk about the sequel. I mean, this is... It's got some of the charm you'd perhaps expect from the first game, you know? It's got a similar humor. It's not, it's not... And the game itself isn't bad. It's just this is not really MDK a, a sequel. It's a game that has the same characters and, a, and some... The IP, sure, but... MDK1, three hour game, perfect pacing, lots of cool puzzles. Yeah, yes, I got stuck once or twice, but it was near the end, but still. Nice fast pace. Shame the graphics didn't play nice. Would have been nice if the graphics had cooperated more. Felt a bit annoying to see the graphics look nice. And there I am playing with graphical glitches for three hours. And I still enjoyed the game, despite that. You know, and he said it was a very unique experience, you know. And it kind of is. It was like a series of short arena rooms. Well, Doctor, you continue to surprise me. This bomb will be the end of your puny mind. Oh, no. Seven minutes. Are you kidding me? Seven minutes. Oh, bollocks to this. We're just going to play the old brute force method. Oh, so this thing looks familiar. Hmm. There's six to this. Yeah, we're just going to be doing the old brute force trick here, I think. Hmm. Okay, that's one. I mean, this, this, this honestly does work. Or oh, maybe I do have time to just do this the normal way. But, uh, it's multi, now it's multiple four weathers. No, bollocks to this. And bollocks to the fact I can't jump very high. Am I seriously stuck down here? Or do I have to find a high enough thing to go on? Ugh. Blur. Ah, no. Got to use the ladder. I don't know why I have the toaster out when I know it's the the ladder that I need to use for this bit. You gotta make some tight jumps if you want to actually get across. Um, fuck, I think I have to go up. I mean, this is this section seems fair enough, you know. There's a bomb puzzle thing, something or other. How the fuck do I get to that? You know, you have to follow the things. It's this is. I don't have a problem with this. This is fine. Because this guy's established as being like the the puzzle guy. So I can understand that it's gonna be a bit slower paced for this dude. And that we're gonna to have to deal with more stuff like this. Possibly. Yeah, the neighborhood. I I think I remember that how the fuck do I get up to there? Am I? No, I'm not. I'm not seeing things. I need to get up somehow. Ah, there we go. Now we're in business. Well, I've deactivated two switches with five minutes on the clock, and I'm more likely going to have to go up than down again. Inch. 
Jesus. This is a. And I swear to God, they're gonna make us do this way. Okay. Wrong. Wrong. Correct. Wrong. 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 Okay, so guess what? You went all the way up. Now you gotta go all the way down. Do you like going up and down sections to solve timed bomb puzzles? Considering the fact that my atomic toaster isn't a terrible weapon, they could have spiced this up by hanging a few enemies. Not rescripted spawning fucking monstrosities, but... I swear to god, if, it's, if the combination is up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down... Oh, that is gonna be it. That is gonna be frustrating. You know what? 100 bits tells me that the combination is one up, one down, one up, one down, just to drag this out. <sighs> I mean, I should have enough time to do it, but imagine doing this and then friggin' Yeah, plutonium D would right. It's just... Am I gonna have time to do this, actually? I don't know. Okay, fair enough. They don't actually make you go up and down another time. So, fine. Just, just twice. Just twice. I'd probably have enough time to do that if they wanted to. Maybe on higher difficulties they do switch up the combo. God knows. Anyway, boom. Deactivated. I saved the... Oh, right. Yeah, this is another thing I don't like about this game. The cheap shots. Oh, so many fucking cheap shots. I wish we just solved the puzzle and in an instant I am fighting enemies. You know, this game has cheap, too many cheap shots and I don't like that at all. Yeah. These are the kind of enemies that honestly they could have had during the timed sequence just to make it a bit more interesting. I mean, I have fucking 11 health power-ups. Yeah, this is just... And uh, yeah, I'm a, bit, I am a, I'm a bit sick of the game doing that. I mean, I wish we just deactivated the bomb and as soon as I do, I'm hit, I'm blindsided by an alien. This is still one around somewhere. Oh, right, they're not a health food. Okay. Yay, showed up. Okay. Just want to get out. That's okay. There we go. Actually, it, no, not really. Once I figured out what to do, they're just rather... Eh. So... The process for this level was introduce the bomb mechanic in a small room with limited options. I mean, it took me a while to figure it out, but we got there in the end. 
Then they introduced the same again with a bit more distance. Fine. Then they introduced it a third time in a massive room where the two main parts are down there, one to the side, and up there with a seven minute time limit. They decide the best course of action for this segment is no enemies during the seven minutes of time it takes for you to figure it out because they'll assume players are going to fall every wire. I bet a lot of players just figure they can just brute force it like I just did. Then as soon as the then as soon as you get the last one at the very bottom, and it has to be this one because it's obviously in a combiner an order, we will then have an enemy cheap shot the player from above to do nine damage and then spawn several enemies. At no point during the construction of this particular part of the level did anyone think, how about we have a few enemies during the seven minutes of tedium? And no, not respawning ones. You could have had just a few regular enemies appear. Maybe like, I mean, I have six fizzy drinks. I'm on medium difficulty. My weapon doesn't suck. The enemies aren't that cheap. I don't have to deal with the homing dudes. It's reasonable enemies to deal with. At no point was the thought occurred to them. Let's combine a few enemies with the seven minute long thing. You know. Yeah. In addition to that, let's give the player five fizzy drinks at the beginning of this section, give him a sixth one, meanwhile for an actual boss fight against the big brain after flying through a section of explosions, let's give zero fucking health supply. Zero. Now I am really impressed, Doctor. Of course, you have no chance with this one zero nil. Now we have seven and a half minutes. Now it's eight. And guess what? I'm just gonna brute force it again. Because I can't be bothered. And it's a viable method of figuring it out. Oh, hold on. Are all of them down here? Okay, you know, if they're all in the same spot, maybe I will play this out normally. Just for the sake of it. Fucking wires are so confusing now. No, never mind. They made it too awkward. We're just going to guess... Can't, I can't barely see them. Nah, screw that. It's time to play the guesswork game. No. No. First step. We'd have to follow it naturally, wouldn't you? So you have no choice there but to play along. That's two. Try both of these. Yep. So it's not that one, it's not that one. Oh wow, a wall shooter. Cool. No. 
It seems like the time limit is just is generous enough. It's just I I just no I just can't bother. Still, this has been a lot better than his previous section so far. We've had a we've not had, we've not had to. Seems a bit simpler. Yeah, they're so tangled and done. I had wait. I only wait. I mean, and again. Okay, fair enough. At least this time there was a tiny bit of warning from the guy with the huge explosion radius. so dark in here. It's... Wow, the Atomic Toast murdered them. Slightly less cheap shoddy that time. But done. So that's... Why did you do that? Why? Oh, Ooh. Well... It appears your simian brain is actually evolving. Now, here's a little lecture on Darwinian survival! Is it boss time already? Oh, goody. Attack all you want, pea brain. Your attacks are no longer of any concern to me. Oh no, he has that stupid shield again. Which means I have to find a way of disabling his shield. I will just save. Do I have to like... No, I don't think the bombs are going to hurt him. Maybe there's something I can do down here? My main problem at the moment is I don't have any way of actually hurting him. Oh, I thought that was a uh, hole in the. We seem to be, we seem to be lacking this uh, method of actually doing any harm to him. But yet we're in a boss room. So what, do we have to actually just keep firing at him until something occurs, or what? I thought we fucked up by Maybe we gotta go back and worm him into a room with a zappy device? I don't know. I have the plutonium, yeah, but... What does that do? It... Oh! Uh, I... Okay. And apparently the answer to that is it turns me into this guy. Well, this is a bit of a problem. I don't have the ability to actually get him. Oh. And of course it's timed. Wonderful. I don't actually have a way of... Oh yes, I will create... Uh, nothing. I didn't use it before because I used my toaster instead. Ooh, 
Whoa, that shadow needs some work. Actually climb as this guy though, which is the thing, but ugh, jeez. So it doesn't help me at the moment then. Uh Anything I can think of is let's climb up this very awkward thing, and then what? Oh, I just jumped on him. Okay. I guess that did something. Right, I see. So we got we just we just gotta jump on him. Like, holy ho! I'm gonna slap you, Suey. You're going to like it. Wrestling him. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm trying to get up before my charge runs out. Okay. Where are you? Come on here. Oh, where's he gone? Oh god, he's like really pissy now. Jeez, it's only the... Oh, for crying out loud. Now that he's got his shield down, he's decided to just go and... He just had to spam like crazy. Hope I can fuck him up quickly. GG. Boink. I put toast in his head. Toast. Such a terrible waste of intelligence. Allow me to put it to better use. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, you now, Kami. How's it going? <laughs> is black again, really? Why is it with this game and having the ability to lose its capture? I'm using game capture. I guess I have to use... God damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me fucking fix this shit. Whatever. Fuck. Can't believe I had to do this again. Shut up, 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 shut up. God damn it, let me get into some gameplay. Right, F7, there. Hopefully you can see the screen now. Alright, let's just quickly repeat this guy. There we go. There, you can see it now, right? 
I forgot I had to do this in windowed. Well, actually, no, I just had to change the capture mode. Intelligence. Allow me to put it to better use. Hey, serious Cacodemon, how's it going? Alien homeworld coordinates received. Preparing atomic cascade. Don't you worry, boys. Here comes a little piece of home. I believe so. So that actually wasn't a bad level. Now we're playing as Kurt again. Balloons for brains. Good to be back. There's my ride now. Hey! Mr. Head, you're a long way from home. Enough of your elusive games. Catch me if you can, little man. Must get Schwang. Must follow ship. I hope this is not going to be a time section. As I say that, I see gun. No, you don't just play as a professor, you play as three different characters. Um, Kurt, Max, and the Dark Professor. Yeah, you choose the part where you choose who you want to play as in the final level. But oh yeah, of course. They made those only killable in sniper mode. I wish you could move in sniper mode, but it's only left and right. Ow. I'm taking so much damage on this level. Why am I... Taking a boatload of damage. I'm I'm confused. What's going on here? Eh? I just I just took like a metric ton of damage from something. Yeah, I'm not holding a radioactive toaster. Now I'm playing as MDK guy. Oh, it's the rockets are firing. Yeah, I have to play these sections really slowly. Because the game is just... Got the other limit. I almost get the impression that they want you to just snipe a lot as this could.
No, I think it's these rocket things. They, uh... I was, I was standing underneath one and it just did damage. I don't quite know what the fucking... What, what is what is causing the damage there, though? Okay, it looks like I have to get up there. These things aren't causing damage. It was those little, yeah, like you said, uh, the psychic guys, I guess. Be honest, they should just let me move any direction I want in sniper mode. If they're gonna give me this mobility, they should just allow me to move up and down too. I don't know why you just only enable left or right, you know. Allow me to snipe. Um where the fuck do I need to press? I'm going the wrong way. That's not it. Yeah, it's just these annoying things. supposed to be fucking doing here? I can't shoot them. I am stuck in here, so there must be something I need to find. God forbid I have a section in this game where I can just play and move forward at a fast pace without having to play. What do you do now? Every five minutes. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. 
I I thought that was the first thing I tried to do I shot these things thinking you know I've seen similar sort of paths but no then what Wait, you fucking kidding me? I mean, you're right, it did turn on. But you can barely see it because of the goddamn fog. So that was the fucking solution all along. Stand underneath the intended area for the fan. So you can then shoot the fan. Not like, oh, just shoot them and then move forward. No, we want you to stand in this one particular spot and then we want you to go and do that. In this one particular spot. I can't proceed any further for some reason. Is that seriously what I had to do just to get back up this way? I'm just going to take a moment here to say, level designer, what were you thinking? You made a simple progression the most complicated thing. So when we get this straight, and yeah, I'm going to rant about this because this, I'm getting sick of seeing this shit. Fuck off with your respawn in. You enter the room, you see three things with balls in them. Three things. Three balls. Balls with things. This is the third level of this guy. You understand they're pretty important by this point, right? You go in the room and you see three things immediately. I started shooting them as first thing to the room. Then you can go onto the platform. The solution to the problem is not to just shoot them and then move forward. You know, oh, I don't know. Just shoot them, go on the pad, fly up the thing. No, the solution is stand and on this spot, hope you notice during the fog from the boosters that one of them has turned on. Go all the way over to that, shoot that one, then go to the other one. Fly up here. Shoot this thing, which should be used to activate this thing. Go all the way back down shoot the third rocket thing which you now know as thing and now you can proceed forward in the level now call me mr cynical but i think i have a better idea of how you proceed with this level i enter the room there are three boosters oh bam shoot one activate boom shoot the second activated boom shoot the third oh the fan works okay let's go up the fan we oh look, there's a thing there bam oh now i've activated this one yay you know kind of like what would the first game would have fucking done and did many times the first game did not have convoluted complex 
progression things. If this was the first game, and keep in mind this is NDK2, so I have every right to compare you to the first fucking game in the series. Why did you have to do that for the simple act of going up a fan? Why are you making these sections longer than necessary? Jesus Christ. What was the what was the point of extending that section just to fucking with no clues either? You know, you saw the three things. That all three things are deactivated when you first enter the room. Maybe if one of them was initially enabled or something, it would... But even so, just, just so dumb. So, so, so dumb. And now we probably have to solve another puzzle. So now it's time to play guess what we gotta do for this bit. Can't shoot that. I see. It looks like we're gonna have to throw some grenades now. Okay. Well, I guess that worked. Not, I wasn't what I was aiming to do, but I'll take it. More hours of gameplay claimed on the box. Is that all that we're caring about here? Just that. So hey, OIB. If I had MDK1 installed at this point, I'd actually reboot up to make a point about the, how quick the level design was in MDK1 compared to this. Okay, maybe I have to blow this up with a grenade. Fine. At least this is kind of, sort of, explain a little clearer. Okay, that didn't actually do anything either. We still have this thing, and I was thinking maybe I have to throw a grenade up there or something, and maybe have it land, but the grenades don't seem to have that flexibility like a sniper shot would. So that's out of the question. No, I think the I think what they wanted to do was let's just make MDK but put more puzzles in it. And spread it out across three different characters and add all these different things and throw them together. You know, let's add these things and more things and more things and more things. And wait a minute, am I playing fucking Proto Slayer again? Except it's more boring instead of being frustrating. <laughs> am I seeing another equivalent of a bit <laughs> threw all these things together and didn't execute them very well some of the time? <laughs> God fucking damn it. I'm not against the puzzles. But then call this game Curtain Friends. Then at least I can... I mean, the, the fact that level three of this game put people off the game, I don't blame them. I honestly don't blame them. You throw in a frigging uh, well-crafted but really tonal downshift. And then you have this level design like that. What, 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 what is what going on, you know? The thing about NDK was... It had puzzles in it, but the puzzles were in a room. They were simple. You could figure them out. Okay, the last boss I didn't figure out straight away. I'm not great at puzzles, but they gave you a clue. They had text on the screen. Feed Gunter free bones. You explored, you know, they kind of did give little nudges, and if you didn't, you just experimented. Here it's just, I don't know what to do here either. Do I have to throw a third grenade into this thing? Does this blow up? Does this thing maybe lift me up higher? No, it's not that. In fact, I can't even get up where I wanted to go. 
Okay, I can. I just want it to... Why does the grenade go all the way over there? How far back do I have to stand for this grenade to just wind in the spot I want it to? I want you to blow that up. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. Okay, so... Hey, so you doing SC Gaming? to say this but this section is slower than the previous one at least with the doctors section we actually proceeded forward with a nice pace which i did not expect from the doctors section so good job you actually made the second one more fun meanwhile back to the main guy the game's based around let's give him a frigging let's start off with a frantic chase sequence and have a convoluted puzzle and now let's throw in another fucking puzzle well, we're sure about to know where the bloody hell that spot is. Maybe I just weed the room. Well, there's not really much in the room I can do. Am I... I can see why, but... You know, it's a bit... It's tedious, but at least it was like... Bomb sequence. Bit of fighting. Bomb sequence. Bit of fighting. Bomb sequence. Bit of fighting. Bomb sequence. Boss. Awkward? Slightly? But we got through I got through it okay. Granted, quick saving and using saves, uh, quick save, quick world to figure out the sequence instead of trying to figure the cables made that a lot quicker, but hey, it's a viable option. And in this section, we've had, with the guy with the guns and the sniper, a chase, a runaway sequence from a plane, a convoluted progression to two fans, and this. Oh, and there's a bloody thing just hiding behind the wall. Because of course there fucking is. And then we have a sniper mortar. Oh boy. Gee, I really... And then suddenly I'm taking damage because... Oh, oh right, we need to put some enemies in this room. Now... Now that you've proceeded one step in the puzzle, here, have some guys that do unavoidable hit scan damage. Also, unavoidable hit scan damage. Also, unavoidable hit scan damage. Also, unavoidable hit scan damage in a game where previously enemies had no hit scans. You know what? Can I call this game something different? I'm going to call this game Curtain Friends. Kurt and Friends Magical Adventure in Puzzle Land. I guess now we use it to blow this up. Oh, I missed. Did that do anything? I have no fucking clue. I should spam mortars. Oh, I probably fucked it up. Luckily, the game has respawning power-ups and respawning enemies. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Hi. And I like the fact it... Go down there, spawn more shit. Okay, back to this. I swear I'm trying to hit that. Okay, that should have connected. What the hell? Am I doing something wrong here? Do I have to... Is there another one on this stupid thing? No. Apparently I've been aiming at the wrong thing all along. I was supposed to do this instead. So I could press this thing. I did not mean to fire another mortar there. Okay, now I can do that. 
Oh, wait a minute. Another thing appears. A bouncing sniper shell. Oh, and here's some enemies. Just for your convenience, sir. And now we have to play bounce the fucking bullet or whatever. Um, did I get it? I don't think I did. So now we have to play bounce physics. I oh, got that wrong. Guess we try again. Oh boy, I hope there's not two more guys with bio suits waiting to attack me at the top. Boy, I really like respawning enemies based on fucking item triggers. Yeah, I destroyed this one. I have to bounce a I have to bounce a bullet and hit that. It's the same sort of thing I had to do in the previous map or whatever. Well, I had to do two of these things and it wasn't fun then either. This is boring. I'm gonna be honest, after this I feel like playing some Dusk for like 20 minutes just to remind myself what gameplay is like which is fast paced. Just gotta do more shooting. He just fucking ran over into some random corner. Well, I have to shoot this, right? Or is the... Um... Wait a, a second. Can I actually get to it? There's a thing there. Okay, boing, boing, boing. Oh, I did myself some big damage, I guess. Yay, I finally hit it. Woohoo. Now we can. Yay, I did it. Oh my god, I can proceed to the next puzzle. Congratulations on beating the test chamber. Please proceed to the next section of the game, which will probably be involve puzzles. In curtain, friends. What do you mean you wanted fast action and quick levels? Fuck you. Puzzles. That's what this game lacked. 2,000 puzzles. Oh, here you go. You want a fast section? Fine. Dodge this ship. Which just blew up 
some things. Oh boy. I don't think we were supposed to go that way. I mean, the idea about you being chased by a ship is kind of cool, I guess. Um. Um. Am I in the right area here? Hey Jason, how's it going man? We are on the last Kurt level. Running away from alien ship. I think we have to get up to this, do we? I can't quite reach it. I need a little more height. Come on, speed running glitch. Find me a height. You could just sort of Damn it, I can't get up there. But I can't. Falling off the side of the ship. Yeah, I'm just gonna press X to doubt. Or is it? It only gets better because you know there's one less level left. Well, you know this is level seven. Oh, cool. I guess that's the answer to that was I wasn't supposed to actually let it destroy the platform or whatever in the first place. I, uh, I think we've gone the wrong way. Yep. Wrong fucking way. Inside, quick. I swear it better not be the same area I was just in. Oh, it isn't. Yo, Malcolm. Welcome. Very slowly. I don't think this game wants to actually let you kill anyone. It wants you to solve puzzles. I'm just calling this Curtain Friends. Because I'm pretty convinced this is not so much an MDK game as it is some other game that just happens to be called MDK 2. So I'm just going to fucking call it Curtain Friends. Magical Adventures in Puzzle Land with Wowo. 
Now we have bouncing balls. Of course we do. Bouncing balls. Yep. And space turrets I can't quite get an angle on because I can't go all the way up when it suits, but they should get an angle on me. As long as I stand underneath the thing anyway. Really? What the fuck? Is that shooting through a goddamn wall? You are shitting me. They're shooting through fucking walls now. Oh my god, finally. I finally did this stupid puzzle of the three things. Windows. Oh, but funnily enough, I cannot shoot through the windows, but they can shoot me through them. I can snipe them out from under here, though, so I guess that's a thing. Unfortunately, they don't care because... I actually can't attack these because they're so close inside that I don't actually have the ability to... I mean, what? I, I can only arc my thing up so high. And they can also shoot through fucking mesh. So I've shot all three of the bouncing balls. I've taken out some turrets. Now what? I sure like being shot by turrets that can shoot me, but I can't shoot them. Isn't this level fun? Isn't this game Curtain Friends in Puzzle Land? Oh yes, you're right, there's a wind current. Oh look, how convenient! Wind current right next to some laser beams. Which you have to conveniently go next to. Oh boy. But don't worry, in case we thought you were getting bored. And yeah, I can see you guys. I don't know what you're doing. This is some kind of weird joke. Yeah, you're... Oh, these guys trying to be like real clever because they're cloaked or something. Holy crap, the wind currents, which I can barely see. I I couldn't even spot them because they don't stand out. Oh, time to take uh, 10 more damage. Take out these turrets that I should be able to snipe. At some point, the hit detection will correctly do its job. Three more stealth assassins. Visible files. Ugh. 
Okay. Hello, assassin. Bye, assassin. I'm being very sneaky. Honest. I must use the stealth. Is it time to use the sniper mortar to blow these up? Is it time to press F7 and figure out what we need to do? Probably is. Oh, there we go. We can shoot these things. Yeah. Oh my god. That's one. Boing. I guess this one we have to use a mortar in. Success! I did it. The bouncing ball is free. Free to conquer this station with its ability to elude. However, did these aliens deal with this highly advanced technology? A power source that moves around and bounces like a, a really, really weird thing. Like, this is like their idea of a switch, a bouncing ball. Okay, I I did a I did a thing. Now what? I noticed there are some... What's my price? Is that another shooty thing in there? Do I have to fire a mortar in that one as well? I, I can't really do that for that one. Can I? No, it doesn't work for the other one. The other one doesn't need it. go back? Nope. I can see there is a ball there inside the machine. Oh. There we go. We've dealt with the bio squad. Yay. Guys, guys, there's assassins, guys, look out. They're very scary. Very scary. Let's 
So, yeah, I'm back here now. Do I have to go back out even further? Nope. Well, that's one dead assassin, I guess. I went the way that the four guys I just spent to escape the room led me to. You know, I, I I went the way that, you know, I, I fired a thing and four guys showed up. You know, I, I kind of thought that that was the way to go. Because, you know, a, a cutscene played and then I did a thing and then... No, it's the wrong way. It's the wrong fucking way because the people who designed this level... Ugh, why would you have a thing? Oh, right, that blew up. Somehow. I didn't see that. I saw four guys that were there. I didn't see the thing blow up. I didn't even know that had blown up. But sure, let's have the focus of the suck scene be the guys entering the room from the door so that it looks like there's something happening in the previous section. Not the fucking thing that blows up in the room. No, why the fuck would we want to show players the actual route? No, they're just showing four random guys who just showed up in the fucking way. What the fuck was the level designer thinking? Were they thinking at all? Was this done by a 12-year-old kid? First day on the job? Shit, we gotta get this game out before the Dreamcast dies a horrible death. Okay, here we go. It's just really meh. I go left or right here. I assume left because I see a pad of some sort. Lots of nice little things falling in the background, though. We. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I going here, though? I don't have any idea where I need to head. Oh, I have to head to this. Just barely making it. Jesus. Oh no, I failed. I mean, God forbid, you know, that was. That could have been marked any more clearer. No, just make it more difficult to see. Or whatever. I hate this level so much. It's so boring. I I, I, I want to be told that the next three levels are short. Wow. Destroys the fucking platform if I even have a chance to... Making it, though. Making it. Yes, I mean, the position of my flight is like, it's not the most abundantly clear that you can even make this jump. I mean, you can, but it's like, it's not the most well-documented route.
want me to try and gain some excitement by drinking a Coke. Coca-Cola. Oh cool, a giant boss looking room. I can't wait for this to be a puzzle where I have to figure out the locations of several random items in the room and there's no actual boss fight whatsoever. It's just a bunch of snipe puzzles spliced together. I can even see the bloody spots now. You really like this game. Damn serious Kako Demon, you have terrible taste and you should immediately you, sh you have terrible taste, serious Kako Demon, and you should immediately go and jump off a chair and onto another chair. How you horrible, disgraceful being. You have an opinion that's not the same as mine. <laughs> Get out! Really cool looking room. Watch it be wasted. Again. Oh. That was just a tower port to get back up to the top. Okay. At least I know now. You know what we nice about snipers? An MPG thing to make it more visible with sniping. You know what would be nice if I could actually move forward and back and just the, the sniper can just be really slow, but at least it gives me the full mobility. I made one step in the direction and and Look, I am, I am quite tired and I need a good night's sleep and I'm going to get that good night's sleep, but I still think this is fucking Oh, Jesus Christ, they fucking did make this just a giant room with fucking things around all the goddamn edges to make this go on longer. And don't tell me, I have to do this six more times to activate some cool thing and then it's just gonna be, that's it, done. I mean, holy moly. Okay, I killed these things, they're all dead now. Oh boy. Oh, one of the things is now activated. Well, what'd I say? What a cool looking room, and they're going to waste it by making me do a boring series of snipe things. I won't really call this a puzzle, as I'd call this just a tedious, tedious task. You know? How many of these things are there? Eight? Eight things. And each and every one of them is going to spawn about five or six enemies each. Fucking riveting. The pinnacle of great gameplay. It's just... Absolutely riveting, I say. win. Guess I won. Oh goody. I won. And then they give you all these items. Black hole grenade. Sniper grenade. Sniper mortar. Another super chain gun. 
Oh, okay. So I can save all these power-ups for when we fight whatever's in the middle. I'll be honest, though. I'm not, I'm not expecting anything cool to happen. I'm expecting this is the final boss. You do this, and then the thing drops, and then you do whatever, and then the level ends, and we move on to max. And fuck. No, why can't this room, why can't this room just like not have eight things like this? Why do we have to have this fucking sequence play out where we have to have a room with so many zappy zap zapper zap zapper zapper zap zap, zap, zap zap things? Why can't we just drop down to the middle and get on with business? Instead, no, behold, I want to make this lengthy and boring. There's still enemies around. Oh, is that why the next one isn't revealing itself? Because I didn't kill the one enemy. I don't even. I know. I know there were some stealth jerks, but I thought I got them all. He dropped down to the fucking bottom. He literally dropped all the way down to the bottom. He's waving at me. That's very nice of him. I do like the fact that he's waving at me. How the polite alien that is. Okay, now that we've killed the last defender, maybe we can get on with the, the, the this tedious, boring task. Man, do you remember an MDK one where um um where I spent ages on one part trying to figure out the final boss? But that was like once because I was an idiot, and that's like the last part of the game. So even if you didn't like that section and it was a bit awkward due to the enemies, at least it was the final section of the game, and therefore it wasn't a big deal. There's another fucking enemy, isn't there? Oh, there's another one. Hi. Hey, down here. You know what, why don't you come down here? Let's have a little fight so I can proceed with this task. Oh wait, there's two of them down here. Oh man. Wouldn't it have been cool if we had a big fight down here and a boss to go with it or something? Okay, I've killed them all now, I think. I think I can go back upstairs and do what I was trying to do twice already. Better take the teleporter. I think we've done it right now. Oh! Oh god, no, MDK1 was too mindless. Oh, Jesus fucking... Going to... What? Is there a pattern to these things? If so, then yeah, maybe I have a point. I shouldn't be going round this way, but I don't know. Actually, you know what? I guess you are correct. I should be going round to the left. So there is a pattern to this shit. I really hope that wasn't in the thought process for the fucking the creation of Curtain Friends. <laughs> MDK1 was so mindless. The fact it was three hours long and one of the most unique game experiences I've played. The fact that it's fondly remembered billions of years later. Oh boy, I have to deal with an army of fucking flying spears of death. Isn't this fun? It's safer just to do this, honestly. Each level was unique! It wasn't fucking mindless at all. You know. There were there were puzzles. Well, if it wasn't so revered during the time, why the fuck was there a sequel? 
You know, if the game wasn't revered, we wouldn't be playing MDK2. Because there wouldn't have been a damn sequel for it. All oh, right, so the game that wasn't revered at the time made enough money, so they decided to have fucking Bioware involved. And Interplay got involved. Because clearly the game that wasn't revered at the time... Mode Misfit, I remember MDK being loved back in the 90s. I remember playing the demo for MDK and loving every second of it. I'm pretty sure the MDK 1 was revealed as a good game back then. Earthworm Jim 3D, yeah, that was not very good apparently. But then a lot of 2D platformers didn't really make the jump to 3D all that well. Laser chain gun, I'm getting a lot of ammo and cool shit. Yeah. <sighs> Some games are, I know some games are to me that we appreciate, and you're not wrong. MDK1 was mindless. You know what we need to do? Let's have this section be lengthy and boring. It's a giant room, and the first thing we're doing is pressing switches. One after the fucking other. If they, if they wanted to make a game that was less mindless, they failed. If anything, they made this more mindless. I mean, really, this is so boring. Okay. And I fell down. And there's three of them. And I'm up. It occurs to me I probably should use my other weapons at this point. Yeah, Earthbound wasn't appreciated because RPGs as a general weren't appreciated at first. It took a while for people who weren't in Japan to appreciate the fucking... Now I have to go and kill dipshit number three. I guess that's what these weapons are for, to deal with the things. Please don't tell me he fell down. He didn't. Okay. I killed the three boss things. I did it! Yay! Only four to go! I don't know why I was pressing F6 and Y. What was I thinking? I seem to think this is... Oh no. <sighs> Great. I don't mind puzzles on occasion. What I but this is not a puzzle. There's no puzzle here. This is not a puzzle. What's the puzzle in figuring out you have to do these switches in order and fight a wave of enemies each time? This is just boring. I mean... I give Unreal... Unreal 2 had a really slow gameplay and was nothing as pacey as the first one, but I'll give Unreal 2 this. Unreal 2 at least had fucking shooting and it kept the action up and it had good elements. Slow was its only weakness, 
you put the correct speed in that game, it's probably decent. This is just ugh, boring. Not always. This level is probably the most boring level I've played, and I'm playing as the main guy. I thought this would be a level I'd be subject to as the doc, honestly. But no. Yeah, they do map sets, other do map sets, people with puzzles. Okay, yeah, sometimes the puzzles work, sometimes they don't, but the difference is, is that it's in Doom. At least if the puzzles don't work, the gameplay's fun. You know, you're basing on a very solid core gameplay. The Curtain Friends in Puzzle Land here is a sequel to a game that was three hours long, had a lot of good pacing, lots of quick little puzzles you could solve, lots of cool mini sections with a decent soundtrack and was fun as hell. And they took that and made it slow and boring. What a fucking accomplishment. Well, since I gain enough health powers, I'm not going to complain about taking stupid damage like that. I swear to God, if one of them's fallen down there... Oh no, I hear something. I have a horrible feeling one of them's fallen down there. Not what I can tell. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. Not only one fell down here, three of them did. Yay! I had to go all the way down, so I get to do this again. I get to do this again. I get to do this again. I get to do it again. I get to go all the way back up. Then, oh, I wonder what the fucking thing is. Oh my god, is it the last one? Are we finally done with this shit? Well, what monster is it this time? Okay, nothing? You're shitting me. The last one has no enemies appear. It's not actually... Although that being said, is it actually making lightning? No, it isn't. Yeah, two of these aren't actually firing anything. Which means there's something I have to go in... Oh, God. Do I have to go all the way down just to find a one roaming enemy or some shit? Oh. Oh. Oh, God, no. You are fucking kidding me. These wankers, really? Uh, 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 uh. Woe is me who was expecting this to be. Ah, that's cool, I can tank the damage. They give so many. So this isn't an issue for me this time. fuck's sake. Oh no, you don't know where I am. Oh no. Oh no. You can't see me. Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. Da, 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 da. Oh, come on, game. 
And let me guess, after doing all of that, the thing explodes. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, it blew a thing in the middle of the hole. That is fantastic. That really is absolutely brilliant. What a great room this was to fight in. This is really how we're ending the Kurt levels. We don't even have a boss, we just have a giant room of torture, of tedium. Oh, we're not done yet. Actually, wasn't there a big shit we had to deal with? I thought that might be the boss, eventually. Hope you now have to fight that one boss before the home world. Oh boy, a bouncing... Oh wait. Oh, it teleports now. Oh my god, Ward. They make these things teleport. I would like to know where that's coming from. Okay, I, I did it. I did a thing. Do I get a prize? Oh, I certainly do. I can't really complain about the design of these guys because they do have hit scans, but they flex forever. So you, just, you have to kind of kill them before they start attacking. So I'm not too bored about that. I have three laser chain guns. I will save these for the boss. Or if I need to kill something really quickly. I did a thing. Again. Something. Oh. Stealth, guys. How nice. stealth guy gets a nice gun. Isn't that fun? Can we just not please?
Bye, stealth assassin. Although I might need to get the health that was back there. So I imagine it being whether I go all the way back. I probably might do. Who knows what kind of shenanigans will happen if I don't get some health. Can't rule out the possibility of something else happening. Cool looking room that was. Oh, there's some health there. Whatever. It wasn't. Uh huh. Is it time to run away again? Probably. Oh, stars. Lots and lots of stars. And we're at the top of a um very top of this wherever we are. That's cool. Really helps to uh, appreciate the scale of the level we were just in, I suppose. I, I would say that was really cool. Oh, well, I, I, it's only fair that this is the last boss. A ship. Which I'm now going to spend way too long figuring out how to get rid of the ship. I have no doubt this is probably just going to be another sniping puzzle or some something I'll need to figure out quickly. I honestly don't know. Well, what I do know is that there'll be lots of enemies. Oh good, an explosion. Do you mind dying so I can focus on the giant ship that has disappeared? Oh, it's there. Oh, good grief. What am I aiming at here? Ah. Yes, you're right. It's like that... Oh, yeah, it is the same Star Wars ship from, a uh, Fucking... Jesus. Why does it have to be enemies? It's a giant exploding ship, not enough of an, an annoyance at this point. No? I'm trying to fucking select things. I have cloak on. I'm trying to select the correct thing to maybe give me a, a bit of an advantage. Just, that's it. I, I want this game to be over. I've had enough of this crap already. Are you kidding? Oh. Yay, blow it up. Blow it the fuck up or whatever. OK, 
Okay, blow them all up. Good. There. I hope that I, I, I no longer have any faith that the rest of this game is going to be any less tedious. Just okay. Once we eliminate all the doofuses, this thing isn't too bad. But um, yeah, take off all those parts. Oh, there we go. Sniper shield is very handy. Explode, you giant. Was that... Was that like the, um... Interior? Like the wireframe of the ship? That was kind of cool. <laughs> That's twice, Schwang. Give up and leave the Earth alone. It's not a personal kid. Orders from the palace. Orders? From who? Emperor Zizi Baluba. It never ends, does it? One mess after another. Oh, and the biggest mess is yet to come. This doesn't even count as a boss. Now we're going to the palace. What the, the, the... Oh, okay. This is the palace. Nothing personnel, kid. Freaking hell, this is uh, a, 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 quite a structure. Alright, so now we have to wait for the other two guys. Well, I guess the boss wasn't too bad, but... East side swizzle firmer. Oh, they ran off. Okay. Damn it, I thought I had that thing murdered. Manufactured bad maxes. I don't think we're supposed to stay around here. Well, this looks nice. Damn it, there's a gun in there. 
there and I want it. Yeah, give me that shit. the wrong way as well. the things that comes off the ship. It's a real shame. Okay, but what what am I what am I supposed to be doing here? I found a bunch of guns and side passages, but I can't seem to be going anywhere. We proceed.
Oh god, fucking vents, jeez. These guys respawn, please. Can we... No. Really. Can we not have these guys respawn, please? For fuck's sake, game. What is this bullshit? I can't even dodge them. Just stop spawning. I know, fucking wow. Oh my fucking god. What is going on with this fucking level? Do I have to go up here? I'm gonna guess that's yes. But I can't do anything up here. Right? No. I tried to shoot that entrance, but it didn't do anything. No. No. to kill a bunch of these guys, do I? Oh, well, epileptic whites keep randomly happening. Yeah, please fight the most annoying enemy in the game several times over. Please do that. Don't indicate this is what's supposed to happen when I see a vent or anything. You know, don't have a little text pop up saying kill the guards. Well, yeah, it looks like they have stopped now. At last. Again, I did see a thing over there, so I thought it might be the thing. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm expecting this game to give direction when it when the level seven to approve it. Everything. God Almighty! Thanks for the 25 bits. I am, I am still quite tired. Okay. Nope, that is not the solution. It wasn't that that there was the problem, it was the fact that every morning I was being awoken by a cat. That was the issue. I've probably had, like... He appears out of nowhere and gets a cheap hit on me. No, it's the fact that I've only had, like, four or five hours sleep the last three nights.
Okay. So I've smashed all of these. Now what? I get a prize. <laughs> oh, sure, but yeah, I will blame the guys. The cat's fault, God damn it. I mean, you might, you probably have a, you probably have partly right, but still. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I fucking doing? For fuck's sake. MDK1 didn't at least give text hints. I, I, I've been just been, I've been blowing up stuff. What the fuck am I doing here? Enemies keep spawning in and I don't know what's going on. There's power-ups on the pillars. Do I destroy the pillars? Do I destroy the pillars? Are the pillars still to be wrecked? I see there's... Oh, I, I can't... There's a power up there, but I don't know if that's got anything to do with what I need to be getting on with or not. Hey, we show yes, it's my own cat. After the last few nights, my cat has been waking me up at 6 or 7 in the morning, and after that, I've not been able to go back to sleep due to this. And the fact that I didn't go to bed until late. I am actually quite exhausted and mentally. But even if I was fully awake, I'd still have the same opinions on this game, and that is the ceiling. Oh, of course, the fucking ceiling. Because I'm in a room, now. that's the first thing I think to shoot. The ceiling. Okay, granted, there is a thing coming, but come on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not drawn to the ceiling. I'm drawn to these things on the side. <sighs> I feel like I, I feel like every room I just gotta figure out the puzzle. It's probably my mistake. I'm just I'm trying to I'm still trying to play this game like it's fucking MDK one or something good. This is the 2000s, no hand-holding. I played a game from 997, that little hand-holding, and I've asked to figure most of that out, okay. Ow, I've taken a lot of damage. I hope he's not going to respawn 200 times. You know, what? oh boy, the enemies are respawning. Time to press F7. Because I guess going down there was the incorrect decision at the time. Yeah, the docks level has given me the least grief because at least it's been kind of simple gameplay wise. It's been it's been simply a case of here's the things, press the things, do the things. Now we have to wait for the platform. Luckily, the enemies seem to be asleep. Or just not giving a shit, I don't know. Am I waiting for a platform? Am I waiting for the right, right platform here? What is that flashing light? Is that an enemy appearing? Okay, I'm on a platform now. 
I have made it to the moving platform. <sighs> oh boy, it looks like this one leads down to the bottom. Um, maybe? Yes, it leads to the bottom, therefore I don't know if it's the right way or not. You missed. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. See you later. That is the wrong one. That's just how you get back out. Maybe you fall down. Hey, I won't attack you if you just stay there. How's that? I won't attack you. You, We can all weave each other alone. And have ourselves a nice little... Am I supposed to go into that middle platform? Oh god, am I supposed to have actually gone off on this purple wedge or something? <sighs> it looks like it, yeah, I'm supposed to go on that purple outer wedge and do things and... Now I have to wait for this thing to come back. At least the guns respawned, that's nice. I mean, the enemies also respawn, but whatever. Oh, the platform came back rather quickly. I'm gonna fall asleep to this game, I swear to God. I might. Uh, there's a very low ambience. No, I don't need that world misfit. I told you, I just need a good night's sleep. I'm going to get that tonight because I don't. I will get my good night's sleep tonight, and I'll be good. And I'll be good, you know. Just that's all. That's all I need. That and. And I'll be fine, don't worry. Oh, is this the same it's the same platform I was just on. I've, why the fuck have I gone here? No, I must have I must just Okay, there's the green one. Okay, that's what I need. The green one. Why is it just gone out of sight? Will you... Oh, he does grab on. Oh, thank God. Yay, I'm progressing. Yay, thanks. I'm progressing now. Um, well, I was. If anything, I need to do more streams than you. <laughs> more streams? Oh, do you suppose I have to shoot the green thing? Yeah, fair enough. Now I have to find the red platform and do the same thing with the red platform and do the same thing with the red platform <sighs> okay nope too early Obviously, you get closer than that. We. Oh boy, it's just fun. 
all this waiting around for the platforms and killing the occasional respawning enemy. It, it's so much fucking fun. Not like I've just spent a large chunk of the last level doing pretty much just this same shit eight times. Somewhere, it's somewhere. I can can't even fucking see it. Oh, there's a green one. I've already got the green one. Ooh, red. Can I get on this one? Nope. Try again. Nope. I guess I had to be in the exact fucking spot. Guess I'll just sit here and wait for it to go all the way back up to the top. Then I can go up again. Maybe some enemies will show up to make me waste some ammo. Maybe they'll spawn right in my face and get a cheap shot on me. You know? Because that one which we did... I mean, I have 200 HP, so I can tank a few cheap shots, but... I'm just sitting on this platform waiting for my plow. I'm just sitting... In my platform, waiting for my girl. Hey, Pinchy, did I beat all of Yeah, that's fair. So I'm playing on medium difficulty, so I don't have to deal with as much crap like the cheap shots. This game sure wants to throw worlds of cheap shots. Because I'm playing on medium, I can tank a lot of them. Good. Good reviews. Good reviews. Good reviews for this. For this fucking... I just want to reiterate that we've just been on a level where we've had to do ups and downs for like seven, seven, I think it was seven times, not eight times in total. And now after an action-packed start where we had to escape the streets of cyberpunk whatever, we come to this. Like, oh no, I guess we'd better let the action stop to a crawl so that we can do some platforming over large areas. Because the player hasn't done that in 20 minutes. Yes, I beat all of Dusk, Pinchy. I thought you were there to see the stream. So, Dusk. Dusk was fucking amazing. One of the best games I've ever played. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dusk was fucking amazing. You should make a level for it. I, need, I At some point, I need to check out at least one custom level from Dusk. Maybe not straight away, but hot damn. Just Dusk was fucking brilliant. Okay, nice detail with the pipes dragged in, I guess. Let's just fall down and probably die fall damage. Or whatever. That's one small step for this dog. Ow! Oh, I'm dead. Wolf, wolf, I'm dead already. Okay. Guess I have to just know by trade that there's a 
fucking one platform I need to land on, which fair enough has health on it. Okay, now what do I do? No, seriously, I've went on this fucking ledge. What am I doing now? Oh, I have to go underneath. <sighs> fucking course. Pinchy style. Yeah, that reactor level was fucking great, and there was lots of it. I mean, Dusk had no hit scans. An absolutely fantastic horror theme. Lots of cool creative levels. I mean, episode one was okay, but it really got going after that. Oh no, don't you start playing some action pack music now. I'm sure it's going to be another big room with a fucking puzzle in it. Let's hope I am proven wrong and it actually isn't anything like that. No, it'll just be something obnoxious instead. Like, oh no, here's a giant ship. Oh wait, I can attack these. Okay, that's... I have to gain range. Okay, I'm in range now. This was fucking grade 2000. Oh my god, whoa, 2,000, it's got good scores. Maybe you were fucking right, maybe no one gave a shit for MDK back in the day, and it was crap. How dare a game be three hours long, contain some unique creativity and fucking levels. Nah, fuck that, what this needs is to have levels that last three hours each. Or something that feels like three fucking hours. I swear to fucking god, is there's another me spawning enemy shit again? Or is it just gonna run out of fucking guys eventually? But yeah, I mean, I guess if you don't have anything else at the time, you could probably see why this is just cool or upset. Oh, do I have to go on the ship? Boy, I'm on the ship. Seventy six percent. It's a decent score. Oh, we use it to blow open the door. Okay, that's cool, I guess. And they actually did have a limited amount of enemies, so that's 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 better. Now wait, that's a bit more like it. This game has so much open space and we just been in a giant room that was just so boring. Are you referring to NDK1 of this when you say that, Penji? Uh, atomic jetpack. I got my jetpack back. Oh 
man, look at these weird scaling techno walls. Yeah, no gas stations, that's a bit worrying. Oh, this one regenerates. Wow, how are we here? Is that, I... Wow. That actually also allows you to do long burst up because... Are we gonna climb this whole thing? Oh god, uh, okay, I guess there's one tiny problem. It's a very, 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 very... S it doesn't give you that much height. So actually, although I can infinitely regen, it doesn't get me too far. I thought like, oh cool, we get to climb up this giant thing, and yet... But I can't go any further with this jetpack, it doesn't have the reach. Oh, Jesus. It's just the point of having an atomic jetpack if it doesn't get me high enough. And we've gone all the way around. I guess we're supposed to find spots to, like, regenerate whatever. Is that the idea? We... Okay, yeah, I guess that is the idea. Climb up by taking very slow steps. Up we go. Oh boy. Up we go. Let's take a really cool looking thing and make it long and boring. This is what we want. Right, now we'll just make it a vertical platforming section where we go up a bit. Alright, Neox is here again. Hello, Neox. Hello, Mole Mania Man. I have a ray gun. So, now you're here to... for whatever. What is your deal, Neox? What is your deal? Why are you pursuing this Mole Mania obsession? We want answers. New brew. Why does there have to be things here that just... Oh, okay, good. Dies. Dies, scum. Yeah, I seriously can't get up because this jetpack... You know, I get a fucking jetpack and it feels like I have much less... Oh, I'll tell you what these gas things do, they'll be fucking hurt. So come on, man. I mean, apparently you've been not you've you've been doing this to other channels aside from mine and dope waves. What is your deal, Neox? I'm genuinely quite curious as to why you have pursued this for 11 years. I'm not trying to say this in a way that is like, um, you know, fuck off. It's more like I'm just curious as to what your deal is. I mean, my theory are is either 
this is your artistic obsession or more than likely you are one of the developers of mole mania yeah do you not remember this guy in dope with 11 years ago drow can you still do the same shit on my streams then too you know he's the guy who asked for mole mania you know he goes he went into a different name then but he was it was mole mania man And the last time he came into the chat, someone else told me he'd ask them to play games too. So I'm not even the only guy who does this too. So I'm curious, I'm genuinely am quite curious as to why you do this, why you've kept it up. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not showing the game again. No. <sighs> yeah, it's a Game Boy puzzle game. You play as a mole. You dig. It's a puzzle game. It might not be a bad game, honestly. Legitimately speaking. The thing is, I did play it back then. I didn't finish the. What the. F you know, you, you know, you fucked up when you had when you, you introduce an object pack that has unlimited fucking regen and I still feel like this game is slow where am I fucking going why can't we just have a set piece that actually has a nice fun payoff holy shit why can't this be a wonderful platform I don't know where to go I don't know where to go I do not have a proper direction I see things sticking out further up I thought maybe go on one of these platforms on the side and use it as the next elevation point, but no, they're all slanted. They're all fucking slanted. Thirteen damage from that. Nice full compensation, Max. And I'm being shot by annoying things that are miles away. Where am I? Going. What am I supposed to do? Just I'm looking at it. I don't have the momentum to go up. I I, I can't like hover in the air and shit. It would be easier if these things weren't around. It's like, fuck off. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look, I suddenly lose all my drag. At least I've killed one of those annoying flying things now. So that was probably actually worth it just to get rid of one of the snipers. <sighs> what well, can't I can't can what can I I see a life up there. Is that supposed to be an indication of where I need to head? Here? Oh, I land on one of these things. At the end. Seriously, can we not have these, please? For God's sake. No. Just once. Okay, so now I have to go onto one of these that leads to a platform above or something. Oh. Bloody hell, Neox. Why aren't you ex is this part of your thing not to explain what you're doing? You know, Neox, if you actually want people to play Mole Mania, maybe you should just fucking explain why you want people to play Mole Mania. Unless this is some kind of weird trolley thing that you just do in the hopes that someone will play it. Because if that's the case, you're probably one of these kinds of people who also will never be satisfied when someone does actually play it.
Did that really just fucking fall apart? That really just fell fucking apart on me as I was winding on the thing that the game just established was the fucking side. Excuse me a second. I just need to go and deal with this thing so we can have a peaceful level or whatever. Go away, you stupid fucking thing. Piss off. Let me stay on this damn platform. Right. I guess I have to go up to these things on the... Up there, eventually. Do like little tiny hovers while trying to maintain momentum a little bit. But I can't really do that. It takes like half a tank just to boost me back into the fucking air. Yeah, the thing is, I, I'm trying not to stay in place. I'm trying to get up. I'm genuinely trying to keep this going up, but it runs out and I have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Why can't it just last longer? Jesus. It's not, it's not going to be enough to get up there. There has to be... Ah. There's a fucking wedge that is a little smaller. I mean, it would be nice if I could wound this platform, but apparently the platform is a uh, fucking broken. I mean, geez, sorry that I wound on the platform. No, oh no, it breaks. What a nice treat that is. Yeah, good one. The fucking player just spends ages getting up here. Now let's just have troll platforms. It's because it doesn't have those wedges. Okay, is this one gonna fucking collapse as well? No, this one's going to stay in its goddamn place. Right. Fucking finally. Now I have to... Now I have to get up. Get it up. Get it fucking up. But no, I can't get up because it requires so much fuel to keep this thing up in the air. God, is it going to be fucking... Well, this is not fun either, is it? It's fucking not staying still. Now it's just this. Temporary platforms. Oh, fucking day. All oh, these temporary platforms. Oh, I can grab on for a minute. Now I can do the same again. I mean, I, can, I guess I can jump. I don't know where I'm going here either. I don't see where the next one is. Oh, really? That's the next one? I gotta fly all the way around now? Guess that's what we gotta do, just keep flying around. Fly around until you find the one that leads to another one above this massive fucking structure. Eventually we will get to one that I can actually go up to on this thing. I have no idea. This thing is actually quite large, so there could be many of these little platforms. I haven't seen one yet, but actually rises. Is that the fucking next point there? Entirely possible. Oh no, hang on, there's this here. Oh my fucking god. Go up, go up, go to 
to the tiny platform. Yay, I made it. Wait, why is it going down? No, I don't want you to go down and do weird things. Please stop doing that. That is not what I want you to do. Why has it gone down? Oh god, don't tell me it was a fucking timing thing and I was supposed to do that. Broken one, no. Why did that one go down? I spent ages just trying to get to the... Okay, there's no platform. So I guess that's the wrong one or whatever. I have to somehow make it up to this one. But I can't make it up to this one because I don't have enough fuel. Hold on. Oh. Wait, what's it doing? Oh, what the fuck is this? Why are these lowering? I don't want these to fucking lower. I just spent ages trying to get even higher. Wait, now there are some... No, these are the lower platforms. What is going on? There's more platforms I need to raise up higher and these are just lowering down. What is going on? With this fucking section, I swear to fucking God. No, screw you, just let me fly. Let me fucking fly. Also, I don't know, I, oh god, I seem to have found the... Oh god, how do I get rid of this fucking console? Uh... I guess that does it. Yeah. Damn, I just, well, I guess we know there's a console. Am I really expected to go up again? Am I supposed to make these lower? No, wait, that isn't lower anymore. This one just lowered down on its own. I don't I don't understand. This one lowered down. Then that one lowers down. They all lower down. I don't understand what's going on. I don't get explained anything for this part that is massively boring and confusing. Right, I know there are platforms above me that I would really like to land on. If I land on that, it just goes down. This is the third level. I've not had a problem with the Max's previous two levels. No, I can't break it. My progression up is everything falls down. Am I supposed to trigger all these to fall down? Does that mean I have to go back and do parts of the section again just so I can go down, go up? You know, there's platforms that haven't been activated. Maybe I have to go and activate them. I don't honestly fucking know because this is so boring. Right, for all I know, maybe I'm supposed to lower these down. And maybe it's some kind of weird timing thing where as soon as I land, I have to go to the next one. And maybe once I've lowered all of them down, I can fucking engage the next part of the level. It's the only thing I can honestly think of is that I have to do this like this, lower all of these, and then for the final one... I will be able to go up a few more fucking feet. These are somehow some kind of activation pads as I drift in the air, continuing to drift, continuing to fucking drift in the air. And when I press all of these down, the next level of platforms will raise up. And I have to do some timing to get onto the first one so we can proceed with this friggin' level where they gave me an infinite jetpack and made it so as boring as the previous level was. How do you make a jetpack level tedious? I think the answer is this is how you make the jetpack level. Also, did that fucking thing just go back up? 
I swear to God that I saw that platform just go back up. What is going on here? Oh, is it just my imagination? No, I wasn't happy with that. I need to... No, stop that. I want you to jump. Thank you. Never mind. It was my imagination. Okay, the good news is, is that I think this is the last one that will trigger some platforms to appear so we can get on with this fucking level. Oh, look, now the platforms work. What a goddamn convenience that was. Just jetpack around the whole fucking level. Waste your fuel, and if you fuck up, well, tough shit. Now you get to go up some more sections. More with platforms that don't stay in place. But at least you can go higher now. Please, this is... Please go higher now. It's not like the previous level was tedious. Now, no, we need to have, we need to make it tedious and give you the ability to fly. We, we're gonna make flying as boring as staying on the ground, or you know, maybe jumping when I ask you to fucking jump. We're getting there. We're getting to the end of this very boring section. Oh boy, it would be nice if I could stay on the platform and jump on command, please. Jump. Going up. Going up. Going up. Going up. Going up. Maybe I can drag onto one of these things. No, that's clearly not enough. Maybe I can grab one of these. Max, would you like to grab one of these? Or is this not the way I'm supposed to go? I honestly don't know at this point. Hang on, I see something at the end of this section. Maybe I'm supposed to... Please land on it. Oh my god, he landed on it. Oh, is this section finally fucking over? Yes! It's finally fucking over. Thank God, it is over. I no longer have to deal with tedious fucking flying platforming. Um, okay. Now what? <sighs> now what's the deal? So, we just have to go straight forward, hold down the jet. It's not stay in the air in the first place. It's a bit of a problem in itself. It takes forever to get some height. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say that. The scale of the levels, it's so boring. I mean, you want to go, oh, this is really cool. I get to fly across and do stuff. It's like, you want to be wowed at the scale of the room, but I'm sorry, but did we just spend 20 minutes doing a really, 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 really tedious puzzle of platforming? And then our award for that is, well, I heard you like jetpacks. Here, would you like to have more jetpacks? And also, let's make it so we have to be at a certain altitude to fucking get anywhere in this fucking section. Yeah, this is real fun. Let's have you maintain a steady jetpack rhythm for several fucking minutes. After a section where I had to steady a steady jetpack rhythm for several fucking minutes. Take a look at this, Peter Morrow. Take a long, 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 long look. This is what your levels felt like. This is what levels feel like when you have the scale of a fucking city and the gameplay is boring. It's a different kind of thing, but this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. If your scale is just full of tedious shit, it doesn't matter. This scale doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter if it's a really cool looking bit. It's just placed wrong. It's like I'm spending the entire time just jetting across. I have to maintain a steady altitude so I can land on a platform on the other side of the goddamn thing. You know. Yeah, it looks nice, you know, and it would be cool if this was like a flying section where maybe I have to weave around enemies or blow up the pillars. But no, the entire section of this section right here is your goal is main somehow get to a height, stay at that height, and then just wait and wait and wait until you get across to the other side. It's just really, really boring. You know, a big level without anything interesting to add. It's just this. Tedious. Boring. Yeah, you know what would be a better idea? How about we have a jetpack that doesn't run out of fuel? How about we just ditch the fuel requirement and just make this a fucking super long section? Like, this could have been like a massive room where you have to fight through a wave of fighters you gotta use your jetpack very carefully. You know. I'm so fucking close. And yet, I have to get in a high. Oh, sorry! We take. Let's just spend ages getting the fuel just right. No, I have to do this. I can do this. I just have to do this a few times. Like, burst. Get the fuel to come back. Burst up. And then tap. And Oh, there we go. Finally, we made it. The most... One of the most... That was a, that was a really boring room. I can't wait for another boring room. Well, great. If you enjoyed that serious Cacodemon, great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, he's injured. <laughs> Crashers like you. We have a saying here on Swizzle Firma. Too little, too late. Not if I can help it. 
The device is already set. Your Earth will be a smoking cinder. What are you gonna do about that, Fleabag? Well, how about I do the other leg for starters? You and me had a guy in a wheelchair, would ya? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would actually. the most annoying spot. Oh, for fuck's sake. My fucking jetpack takes forever to get back. I've not saved yet. How much damage do you want to take, dude? Way too fucking much. Oh, there's some health. Oh no, now he's going to the most annoying spot, which is behind that thing where he gets covered. And F7. Fuck's sake, where is he? Why is this such a tight time limit? I waited. Nah, this is just a. I'm just gonna basically treat this as a damage sponge fight. I got. We're doing nice. Yeah, I want to do I just need to basically just keep wailing on him until whatever. Yeah, the damage will kill him if I'm just keep wailing on him. Yeah, the less damage he does, even better. Come on, dudes. Okay, yeah, we got this. Fine, we don't die. We're fine. There. Yeah, the, the weapons respawn, so that's never been an issue. The, when the game wants to give you weapons or things for bosses, they do at least respawn them, so it's not an issue with ammo. 
Guns now are being sent. There we go. He's dead. Finally. Ugh, ow, ugh, ow. Warning, evacuate silo area. UDM will launch in 15 flagmons. Better shut this thing down. it. Well, well, didn't need it. Uh, Max? Huh? <laughs> oh, sure. I'm here to save you. Great. Let's get off this gas ball. Where the heck is Doc? Okay. Yeah, dark time. That was that max level was the most boring part of this game. Not even close. Hell. So if you sounded annoyed. No, don't worry about it. I don't know why he'd be bothered though, it's not like I'm attacking you. <laughs> Kurt's Hoppy. Well, it's a dead giveaway in a sea of triple valve twelve chambered cardiopulmonary monstrosities. Kurt? Kurt! Unbelievable! Dr. Hawkins, where are you? I'm in orbit on board the Jim Dandy. Where are you? Outside the palace gates with Max. The Grand Emperor, Zizi Baluba, is inside. Doc, we've got to find a way to stop him, or the Earth will never be safe. Right you are, my boy, and I've got just the thing. There, I have a fix on the palace. I'll destroy this Zizi with one press of a button. Doctor, if you could teleport us up first. Not a problem, my Kevlar-coated friend. Just a few simple console taps and teleports come. Bleed? Oh my. Uh oh. He appears to have teleported himself. Okay, Hawkins, think. Think, think, think. I have to get Max and Kurt at the palace, so I'll need a palatial locator, a dimensional destabilizer, and one of those positronic doohickey things. And a phone booth. It's brilliant! The it's phone simple. Booth. It's science! Okay. So I have to basically build a TARDIS? <laughs> nope. Yeah, I mean, I understand, you know, this is a game you like and I'm bashing on it. It's never pleasant, but, you know, I'm not bashing on you. If you enjoy this game and you get some fun out of this game, then that's great, you know. I just personally think that that last level was the most annoying. In fact, the last two levels have just been the most annoying in the game. Levels with tiny bits of action supplemented by boring puzzles okay so at this point let me think i i don't know if i should continue this tonight or not i mean the last level was apparently quite short but 
Unfortunately, there are people out there who would attack us. Yeah, I know. We call those people... We call those people idiots. <laughs> you can certainly... Agree to disagree. You can argue your point. But if you're just going to say, Oh, you liked MDK too. How dare you, serious cacodemon. You're a fucking pleb. Go back to your shitty streams. You know. They're not actually attacking me. I wonder if this is just like a puzzle level of some sort. That's what I'm thinking to do. Like... They don't give a crap about you, John. Well, you know... The, there are certain gamers... Ow! Oops. Okay, I guess they still harm, but they're not actually attacking me. I'll just leave them to it. Yeah, I got a feeling this is a... So... No offense, but everyone who hates this game is a poopy head. They don't want to actually run at you and physically attack you all day. Yeah, I was just trying to debate whether, you know, would it be possible for me to beat this and the final level in an hour? Or will it take a bit more than that? Hmm. That being said, I am fucking tired as hell. So, probably not. Okay, then I won't bother then. Yep, okay, we're gonna not do that then. I'm gonna play it smart. I've made, I know I've made that mistake recently where I've said, oh, I'll just keep going, I'll just keep going, it's okay. I'm near the end, it's like, no, fuck that! I will rest up and do this and finish this off tomorrow. Why is this demo so fast? But this is the first level, isn't it? I don't understand this demo why it's so fucking ridiculously fast. Yeah, you're probably right, demons. It's the uncapped FPS. Depending on which character you choose, it can be really frustrating. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think they did. Yeah, okay, then the window capture tomorrow, capper. I will try not to forget. So, um, any final thoughts on the chat of what we've seen so far? I have to be honest, this game has gotten more boring. Then you have... Also, this game has a demo. That's kind of quaint, isn't it? It has an actual God's Honest demo. I thought this kind of I thought this kind of thing had stopped being a thing by 2000, where you had little demos and games. It's like charmingly quirky. We have a demo, a not very good one at that. Max's version is easiest. Well, funnily enough, I was thinking to pick Max. He seemed like the best character. The more fun potential character, I should say. But, well, I guess I'll decide. I'm, I'm not picking Dr. Hawkins' path. Yeah, uh, I mean... It, it's kind of a sad state of affairs. Oh, no, I, it's not a sad state of affairs. It's kind of an interesting thing that the best level I played tonight was the first one. You know, the level that was just a bunch of very basic, well, not so basic, a bomb segments. That was the most fun level. <laughs> Show performance. We are at 60 FPS. Yay. You get to play on jinkies. Good grief. I'm just, I, I mean, this wasn't too bad yesterday when I started playing it, you know. It wasn't quite the same thing, but I was, it, it wasn't too bad. But tonight, it, the levels have just gone more dragged out. 
I have a feeling the net the doctor's final level is gonna be too bad. I mean hell, to some extent his first level while full of annoying platform was at least a little quirky. That'd be quite an ironic thing if I if I if I find the uh the doctor levels to be like the best ones because it was the most you know, decent enough gameplay. Have I played the first game? Yes. I played it yesterday, I Bunch Demons, and I started this yesterday as well. Um, I, had a, I had a vain hope of finishing this game tonight, but I also realized there was a chance, a heavier chance that I would probably fall a level or two short, but that's fine. I'm not pushing myself anymore. The splurge is over. It's back to normal business now. So, I will be finishing this off tomorrow night. Um, if it does end a bit quicker than I expect, I do have a backup thing in mind, a little backup thing, so a little play test I might do. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Hopefully my tiredness will be gone by tomorrow. And I will see you all tomorrow night for conclusion. Good night, everyone.